section B because there's a lot of different jumps that happen in the third part and also this the harmony that comes in at the end of the bass if we can solidify the harmony it's going to sound great it's going to make a lot of the piece a lot easier for you guys to sound good so if we just start at B and we'll run through until we think we should stop and figure out what to do next okay so you see where I'm at measure 10 what to do It's not that right. <laughs> so right here. There, but a lot of it's tough up there, right? So make sure you're pushing your gear to support the diaphragm, right? So make sure, like, you're sitting tall, you know, don't have your back against there. It's kill. I'm like, I'm mainly a saxophone player, so when I'm playing saxophone, right, if I'm sitting like this, you're not like you're not getting the same kind of airstream. You're not here because your air comes from here, and if your body's curved like this, you're not getting the same. But you have to be here, back straight, and your chest cavity is open. Gonna get a lot more air and that high note's gonna be a lot easier, especially this early in the morning. So, why don't we try that? Everybody just like, sit up a bit more, a little late. So, let's try it from right there again. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Tell me what if you look at measure 19, which that three over the four means looks like three fourths of the fraction. It's the time signature. Time signature. There's three fourths of a measure. Right, exactly. So uh, just be careful because when we're singing here, we're at four four, right? But when we get to here, this it goes who cries rest. Who cries right? So why don't we try, like go like this on the, I want you to go on that uh, chord note. So we make sure that we go one, two, three, right? So we'll count that as our rest. So why don't we try it together from measure nine, uh, measure 21 actually, ready? Here's your note. One, two, Try it one more time because let's try and get everybody's clap to be at the same time, right? Because I'm hearing kind of like a fading out, right? So if we can all feel the beat together, 
don't make because it's a fluid piece, you know. It's not like something really driving in time, so it's tough to feel the time signature once in a while. So if everybody in this section can be together, you sound great. Okay. So let's try it one more time from twenty one. Let's keep going. Measure One's like in the different class. So okay, so. that's what it's going to be. All right, great. I was standard two in high school too. Okay. Right there we can. So let's try it from. Um, let's try it from thirty-three, right? And the difficult part about this is when it gets see that split uh, measure thirty-nine. It's actually tougher for us because we have the lower note to here, and we have that jump to the E, where the tenor ones only have to make a port, like they only have to make a whole step jump. We gotta do that fourth, right? So, can anyone tell me what this might sound like? This interval? The, exactly, here comes the ride. So that's the best way to think about intervals. Like if you if you need to see a fifth. Exactly. Or if you hear like NBC. Sorry. All right, so let's try it from So, um. Let's try from uh, 34 together. And <clears throat> what's it that? It's meant to forte here, so let's kind of bring it out a little bit right now, okay? Three. One, two, three. It's a little difficult because you know we have that entrance on the end of two, but if you're thinking one, two, and three, one, two, three, right? Then we'll nail it. So let's try it right from measure 41. Oh, God. 
So can we try the jump between measure 45 to C going into the B flat? Because it's like a transition in harmony, right? So if we can definitely nail that jump, we'll see great. And especially because we're on the bottom, it's going to help the rest of the choir make that jump as well, OK? So let's try from measure 41, and we'll get to hold that B. And then from here to that B, we will go. So if we just try that, go like this. Sorry. Let's try that one more time, right? You said cool, now try cool, like cool cry, right? Great. So now we're going to put that little space in between, right? Does anyone know what this symbol means right here? Let's look for that. Exactly. So a fermata means that the conductor can hold that rest for as long as they want, right? So we got to be prepared to have that B flat in our ears. So that right when the right when Mr. Gavin goes like this and gives you that cue, we can all land that B flat together, right? So I'm gonna give you here's the D, right? Oh. Mr. No, don't sing it yet. But. So let's try that again. We really want to have that beat flat in our ear together. Okay? So. Great. One more time, just for good measure. Right? Okay. Pick it up just a tiny bit. It's a little flat, right? That comes from right here. If you sit up a little bit more, right? You push from your diaphragm a little bit more and raise your voice a bit. It'll come out great. So let's try it this time from 41, so we have kind of a running start into that. Ready? One, two, three, four. It's a little tough, right? It's hard to make it there. So let's, um... <coughs> You know what you can think of? Does everyone know the Beatles? You know Hey Jude? Hey Jude. Right? So let's try that. Let's try uh, singing like that, except when we get to that D, go Hey Jude. All right, let's try that, right? So from 41. Let's just start now. One, two, three, four, hey, two. Great. Killing it. So now let's try it with the real lyrics this time, okay? One, two, three, four, Questions about this part? Anything you want to go over again? Make you solid? Um, what time does this period start? Do you guys know what, what time do you guys get here? Uh, 8 40, so the bell rings. The bell ring. okay. So we got like three more minutes together. So let's just run B and then I think measure for song. We can do that again. So starting at measure 10, you can do it, right? This time, I'm just going to give you the starting pitch, and I want to see if you guys can kind of carry the melody together. I'll come in if you need a little bit of help. Uh, starting from the B. Let's try that a little bit. 
So that's a that's a pretty far jump, right? Uh, Yeah. Okay. So let's try it from. That's a tough spot for you guys because you got to go all the way from the top all the way to the bottom. So let's try it from here. time without the piano this time. Ready? So that would be your next note. So why don't we just try Ready? So I'm going to do it once and then you guys repeat and I'm going to do it and you're going to repeat. Ready? So. same spot again so so try from there ready for one two three four nice very well done guys uh, let's try from the top of the beat so same note ready for